What's up, Thrill Seekers? So, uh, today we are at, well, we're not at, but we're going to be at um, Bush Gardens Williamsburg. I'm super excited. I haven't, I mean, I've been here before um, and I've gotten all of the credits and everything, but I'm excited to get on Finnegan's Flyer. Um, it looks pretty awesome. And of course, excited to ride Apollo's Chariot, Griffin, Albengeist, all of those super fun coasters. Um, and I'm super excited to see which is better, Silver Bullet or Alpengeist. I'm leaning towards Silver Bullet, but I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys once we get there. Probably the, definitely the best, like, entrance to an amusement park. Like, just walking through and seeing all of this is super awesome, in my opinion. So, yeah, love that. Alright, let's go. So, I think we're gonna do Apollo's Chariot first. Um, I did see it testing, or not testing, running. Um, so it should be, should be open and everything. Something that I am a little bit concerned from is, um, I'm a little bit concerned about Tempesto, just because it wasn't open last time and I didn't see it like testing or anything, um, or running. So hopefully it's open. Really hope that it opens either today or sometime while I'm here. Because um, I think we'll, we'll probably be going again. We bought like a three-day pass or something um, Anyways hope, Hopefully it ends up being open, but but yeah, we're gonna do Apollo's chariot first and then hopefully Tempesto and go to the rest of the park from there Alrighty We're about to venture into Fiesta Italia, I think is what it's called um, and that is the place where you can find Tempesto as well as Apollo's Chariot. Um, as, as well as what is coming new to Bush Gardens in 2020, and that is Pantheon. It's uh, their new multi-launch coaster. Should be, should be super, super awesome. Get a nice view of the Pantheon construction right there. Pretty much just dirt and flitters right now, but hopefully we'll get some supports and things soon. But we'll see. First ride is gonna be Apollo's Chariot. Um, oh yay! Tempesto is operating. You can see people in the station and stuff. Okay. Anyways, let's do Apollo's Chariot. I have so much room. Hey guy, I have oh, over. Here we go, here we go. Ah! You, all, you always think that it's gonna go. Ah! Wow, that is one of my favorite coasters. That is for sure one of my favorite coasters. Um, definitely in my top 10. It's definitely like my type of ride, just with like all of the floater and flowjector airtime, which I love more than ejector. I know, I'm a weird coaster enthusiast. Anyways, uh, we are going to go on Tempesto, which I am 
very excited for, mainly because I did not get a chance to ride it last time. It was actually closed, unfortunately, um, for the whole time that I was there. But, yeah, we're gonna ride it right now. Should be super fun, but yeah. Paula's Chariot, for sure in my top 10, maybe even top five. I don't think so, but yeah, top 10. So, let's do Tempesto. Tempestio. Oh, that's a perfect shot of it. There it goes. No. Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. Do you see that? Slow. Oh, bye bye. Whoa. Just got off of Tempesto. Um, we're going to go to the front of the park because for my GoPro and stuff, I think I need a camera card. That's what they said. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go up to the front, grab a camera card. Um, we might ride Tempesto again later today. Um, if so, then I'll probably have put that little like clip in um, while we were riding it. But anyways, that's a really good ride. Um, if I had one complaint, it's just the comfort collars suck. Um, honestly, they're, they are very bad. But um, if it had, like, if it didn't have those, then it would be so much better, like a million times better. Um, so it's, it's a good ride. I just wish it didn't have the comfort collars, but we're gonna go get a camera card, probably ride a Paula's Chariot again, and I'll probably see you guys at another um, ride. Alrighty. Just got our little photo card. I don't know why they have this, but they do. So, um, but yeah, it's it's free. They just, I think what it is, is they, they checked my GoPro to make sure it was like secure and stuff. They actually like tightened it a lot because they were like, uh, it's a little loose, like not on my arm, like it would, like the little screw that goes in it, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, but uh, they just check to make sure it's secure and then they give you one of these. Um, and I think we're gonna go back to Apollo's Chariot and Tempesto. Um, but I think the next time I see you will most likely be at Alpengeist. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so we just did Tempesto again. I knew that I was, I know that I was gonna say that we're going to join you guys at, um, at Alpengeist, but I do quickly have to say, front is awesome on Tempesto. Um, you saw the POV from when we were in the front and it is so cool like um, Just the barrel roll just looks so awesome um, so Yeah, that's uh, that's Tempesto Okay, first of all, why why does Busch Gardens always choose the, the weirdest coaster names? Like we got Tempesto. We got Pantheon Alpengeist like what? What is this, Cedar Point? Oh! Literally a walk-on for Apollo's Chariot. That's awesome. There's a surprise on it. Okay. Ooh, spooky. This, so awesome. Fime. Love Fime. Gotta love Fime. Yeah. When the font is too weird, you can't even read it. Okay, anyways. 
Let's cross the. <laughs> Put on some pants, please. This is a public amusement park. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, anyways, let's cross the beautiful bridge. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's kind of like looking not great, but. See Tempesto, see Tempesto. See Tempesto. Bruh. It was a long walk, but we finally made it. From Italy to Germany, finally made it. Oh man, that was a bit a, a good while, but we made it, guys. Oh, is that is that thunder? Yeah, that's thunder. Although they are still running this, so we'll see. We're gonna go on Verbolten. Verbolten. Man, I thought we were at Bush Gardens, not King's Dominion. This is, it's, it's just the timber. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. And lives have been temporarily closed. Normal population will resume as soon as weather conditions improve. Tram service to the parking lot has been temporarily discontinued. They just said, made the announcement, oh, and I can see why, um, that uh, there's immediately, or er, there's severe weather in the area, and the rides are shutting down for now. Probably get some lunch or something. And, oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's go inside. Uh, whichever one, doesn't really matter, but. Alrighty. So we are here at the like little, I guess, I don't, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> this little food place um, in the Germany section. I got some pizza and some fruit um, and then just another refill, so yeah, gonna do that and then Hopefully, it'll stop raining soon and we can ride for both. Yeah, it'll go into here. So, for obvious reasons, we are going to go to a show. I think the, what was it, the More Pet Shenanigans show? Yeah. All right, we're going to go see that. Should be in Ireland, which I don't know where it is, but we're going to find it. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think we need to cool off. <laughs> All right, let's do it. There is Finnegan's flyer right there. Yeah, might be going on that um, once it opens. Obviously, it's pouring. Uh, I have officially accepted that I look like a wet dog right now, but I think we're in Ireland, maybe. So, just passed the Irish flag, so let's hope oh, so. Oh, then, yeah, there you go. But, uh, so the, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the show. Okay, we just, uh, got done watching what was it called again freckled sky. freckled sky that's that's it um it was pretty good of course i am a hip-hop dancer so i like hip-hop dance and it was a little bit more like of a ballet contemporary type of style um so it wasn't like super upbeat or anything it was still pretty cool um so yeah i mean i would recommend it especially if it's like a rainy day like this one but where he, good, the the range should be clearing up pretty soon, um, according to like the weather app and the radar and all of that kind of stuff. So we are going to go on over to uh, Verbolton in order to uh, get our stuff and probably get a ride on that and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it is officially open. 
boots are going on in. Alright. Get into the line. Yeah. I'm excited to get back on this thing. Should be fun. Yeah, they they tested it. They're not. That's what you need All those guys. Alrighty. To see you've escaped to the forest. Please lift up on your safety harness and exit carefully to your left and enjoy the rest of your day at Bush Gardens. I'll see you soon. Shall you see mommy? Please. Oh, yeah, I did that for you. Eternity later. That was a very fun ride. Um, I love the drop track. Um, it's awesome. Um, he had never been on it before, but uh, how did you how did you like it? Because it was cool. It was all right. all right. Yeah, I like the drop off. Yeah. So we dropped this down. Yeah, that's for sure the best part. Um, anyways, we're gonna do it one more time because my dad was in the bathroom that last time. So we're gonna do it one more time, probably towards the back row, and then probably go to something like Invader. With the black horse. This one says wolf. And I don't know what the other one says. But yeah. Okay, so we're going to go on Mock Tower. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. I've gotten over my fear of heights, so I can do this pretty easily, which is always good. Um, but I'm excited. Do it. I think I take back what I said about being over my fear of heights because <laughs> I'm slightly over it. I didn't scream. I just looked down and was terrified. Um, I guess being completely silent is more of a sign of fear than being like, ah. So, yeah. Anyways, um, we are going to go to Griffin now. Um, which is interesting because it's just as tall. I've ridden Top Throat Dragster, but I'm fine on that. I just can't do drop towers for some reason. Anyways, yeah, let's let's uh, let's do Griffin. Yeah. Okay. I'm not in High School Musical. <laughs> Next ride is not Griffin. It's Elfin, guys. There it goes up the lift hill. Actually, that's lift hill. Well, this is nice.
would say silver bullet is better. What? For sure, silver bullet is better. So we just rode um, Alpengeist. Uh, once in the back, once in the front. Whoa, my hair. Um, anyways, yeah, it's a pretty good ride. I would say silver bullet is better. Um, just because of my personal preferences, I like. Um, I definitely like more graceful rides versus more whippy and like um, forceful rides, but that's just me. Um, I know many coaster enthusiasts are uh, pretty much the opposite of that. Anyways, we're going to ride Invader and then finish it off with Griffin. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, do that. We got a tie-dye bear right here. What's up, dude? Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh. <laughs> Look at this dude. You like? <laughs> All right. Anyways, invader time. All right. It's officially time for invader. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, Invader is pretty fun. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 pretty fun. Uh, it's obviously a family coaster, um, and it's it, I wouldn't say that it's the most like that it doesn't have the most airtime or anything along those lines. Um, but something. What's up? What's up? Oh, 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 snap. Get your glow on. Yeah. Party. Anyways, uh, we're going to ride one of the best rides in the park, and that is Griffin. Yay, the B&M dive coaster. I'm excited to ride this again. I'm excited to kind of compare it to um, Val Raven. Uh, that's always, always good to compare dive coasters. And also, this is a very beautiful ride. Um, so gonna get some good shots of it and everything so yeah let's do it Raven with a shorter line. Oh! Uh, we did it to, uh, once in the front and once in the back. Beautiful lights on it now. Um, anyways, we're going to do one more ride 
and that is going to be Finnegan's Flyer. And then we're going to come back here, ride this a couple times, see their fireworks, all of that kind of stuff. And, uh, and yeah, let's go ride Finnegan's Flyer. It is a, it's a new coast, or, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a, it's a roller coaster. It's not a coaster. Um, it's a new ride that they have added in 2019. Oh, peeps, peeps be, uh, oh, there it is. Whee! Anyways, it's a new ride that they just added in 2019. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go it. Let's let's go it. Let's go it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That was, really cool. that was awesome. That was really fun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Alright, we're gonna do some night rides on Griffin and then uh, that's really gonna be it. So I will do a um, outro in better lighting and towards the front of the park. So yeah. Bam. Okay guys, so I actually ended up forgetting to do an outro uh, for the video, but today is the next day. Have my GoPro with the waterproof back to it because I'm going to Water Country USA today. Um, but anyways, in terms of my Bush Gardens Williamsburg vlog, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely smash the thumbs up button and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. See Tempesto.